वेलकम एवरीवन दिस इज देवांश कुमार माय रोल नंबर इज 65 इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट जेडीके और द जावा डेवलपमेंट किट दिस प्रेजेंटेशन विल कवर व्हाट इज जावा व्हाट इज जावा डेवलपमेंट किट एंड द कंपोनेंट ऑफ जेडीके एंड हाउ जेआरई जेबीएम एंड जेडीके वर्क टुगेदर एंड द की डिफरेंस बिटवीन जेडीके जेआरई एंड जेबीएम एंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ जेडीके इन द जावा डेवलपमेंट नाउ लेट्स सी ऑल दिस पॉइंट वन बाय वन नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग What exactly Java? It is a fast, reliable, and secure programming language that can be used in several websites and applications. It can be used to create application in a single computer or one that could be distributed across the server and the clients. Java can be used in several scenarios, independent of the system that it is used on. So now let's look into what is Java Development Kit means. It is a cross-platform. software development environment that offer collection of tools and libraries necessary for developing a java based software application or applets jdk consists of java runtime environment interpreter compiler archiver and document generator and few more tools that goes into developing a java program so now let's have a look at the component jdk Java runtime environment is a primarily part of JDK and it is also be termed as Java RT. JDK provides the minimal amount of requirement to write and compile a Java program. JRE consists of JVM supporting file and other core classes. The JVM is key to both JDK and JRE because it is embedded into them. Now whichever Java program being run JVM is the dead component of Java that execute a program line by line. We are now in a position to deep dive into the process of JDK, JRE, and JVM work. Let's take a source file and save it with the extension .java. This file is compiled and converted into the set of bytecode, which changes the file extension to .dot classes. This is specifically done by JDK. Bytecode is platform independent, but not something which machine can understand. In order to execute it, we first need to convert it into machine understandable. which is a part of jvm and jvm recite into jre now let's see how jvm works internally the jvm is divided into three subsystem the first subsystem is class loader subsystem it consists of three activity loading linking and initialization the second subsystem is runtime data area whenever jvm runs an application it trigger memory to store metadata of classes objects and lot of other information JVM organizes this into five data area: method area, heap area, Java JVM stack, PC register, and native method stack. The third subsystem of the Java is known as execution engine. It is mainly consists of three part: interpreter, JIT compiler, JIT compiler also known as just in time compiler, and the garbage collector and host for profiler. There is also native method interface JNI. and native method libraries if you ever been browse through the content of jerry folder then you might observe there are many dot dll file which written other than java to execute this code inside the dll file the jni is used that's all about jvm in short now let's look into the key difference of jdk jre and jvm The JDK is essential for writing, compiling, and debugging a Java program. It is used by developer during a development phase. JRE is used for running a Java program either by the develop developer during testing or the end user when they run Java application. It does not include the Java Java development tools provided by the JDK. JVM is responsible for the platform independence of the Java. It allows a Java program to run any device. or the operating system that has jvm implementation this make java a write once run anywhere language so in summary jdk is equal to jre plus java development tools jre equal to jvm plus core libraries and jvm which execute java bytecode on any device with jvm now coming to the importance the jdk is the foundational toolkits that enables a creation of java application from simple script to the complex enterprise solution jdk provide comprehensive set of tool 
that streamline the development, debugging, documentation, and deployment, making it a good resource for Java developers. In sum up, JDK's versatile nature makes it a cornerstone of Java ecosystem, supporting the developer in creation reliable, efficient, and cross-platform application. Mastering the JDK is crucial for any aspiring Java developer. Thank you for your kind attention.